Today we're going to be taking a look at a giant roach. Call it gross, call it interesting, this is definitely a unique NPC. And although it's a massive roach, it technically falls under the Trevor Henderson characters. Although I don't know if Trevor Henderson actually ever made this creature. But it does have some affiliation with the Trevor Henderson creatures that we'll take a look at in a moment. But without further ado, let's take a closer look now at the giant roach. Alright, so the first thing you're going to notice is that when you spawn this thing in, it starts putting these weird growths out of the ground. And this is the nest. So the thing about these nests is that they actually spawn, well, if you could guess, other Trevor Henderson creatures. So just to demonstrate this, we're going to let him go around. It's also important to note, this thing can fly. <laughs> so obviously, wait, what the? I don't know why it went over there and made an explosion. So, okay, there's a lot of things to look over. One, the nests are gonna start making Trevor Henderson creatures. Wait, is he killing his own creatures? Okay, so I turned off ignore players, but I kept disable NPCs on and yet he was still moving. Anyway, now I fixed it, so now we can see he just kind of walks around all natural. But yes, he can fly, so he can do some crazy aerial combat. And also, those NPCs he spawns, let's take a closer look at them. So this is the Corrupted Ghost Pig. If you guys remember Ghost Pig, oh yeah, that, that brings back some good memories. Now he can bring back a bunch of NPCs like the Misty Guest and a few others, I believe. But for some reason, we only have the ghost pig right now. Now, here's the thing about the roach that is pretty important. So we're going to have him kill us, which will be pretty easy for him. This is the execution move. Now, every time he does this, he gains power. And when he gains that power, he gives that power to his comrades. In fact, I think they get like, what, 300 extra health for every amount of power he takes? So. If he doesn't kill you, which he definitely will considering how fast he is, he's got little minions to come after you. And, I mean, look at this. <laughs> Even if you no-clip as fast as you can, you cannot get away from him. Also, it's important to note that if you're far away, he will spit some kind of acidic, like, liquid at you. But again, it won't matter because he'll just hunt you down and kill you. This is why it's pretty, well, pretty clear to see this is not an NPC you're supposed to fight. Because you might just think, God Mode, right? I've had God Mode on this whole time. That's right, his execution goes through God Mode. So obviously we can tell that we cannot fight him. So let's go right into the NPC admin guns. Let's see if he can survive the long revolver. And as you can tell, no he cannot. So let's go right into possession. This might be the most disgusting NPC I've seen. You guys do not know, I, I absolutely freaking hate cockroaches, man. They are gross, absolutely disgusting. So, space lets us fly. If you couldn't tell, it's pretty effective. For some reason, we explode when we like do anything for some reason. I guess we have like TNT on our ass. Anyway, left click is going to be our swipe and we have a few different attacks, which in my opinion look pretty neat. Now, right click, that is our execution move. Poor, poor Combine. And this is going to give us some extra power. Now what does R do? R is going to be our Acid Spit, which we saw was pretty effective. In fact, let's spawn some Combine here and see if we can't take them out with some of our nasty spit. Ho ho! So you can see it's kind of hard to aim, but that's why we have first person view with V. Oh god, this is nasty. This should just be the thumbnail right here. We can see it actually does have a pretty big radius, so don't be afraid to really just let this thing fly. Alright guys, so we're really high up, I want to see how long it takes the roach to actually get to us. So we're going to let him loose. Oh my god, <laughs> he's so fast! So whether you're on the ground or in the air, it doesn't really matter, he'll get you one way or another. So let's see how he does against Godzilla. I picked this one because with the other Godzilla, I had crashing issues. So we're going to just kind of omit that. So let's see if the big bug can take down the big lizard.
outside and you could see even though the roach was formidable it was not good enough to take out big zilla himself so good job godzilla he definitely did take a beating the roach was doing a pretty cool technique where he was keeping his distance but that didn't last long so let's see if gypsy danger has any better luck can this big mech squash this nasty bug And I think we have our winner. So I don't even think Gypsy had to whip out the blades, but the thing that's most important, oh my God, that was close. So the thing about the Roach is that he doesn't have as much health as some of these NPCs. If we spawn him in and look, I mean, that's a lot of health, but compared to Gypsy Danger, it just doesn't really compare. However, he still held his own, so good job on the big roach. Alright, now we're going to see if a smaller NPC has a better or worse chance at taking out the giant roach. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, what the hell happened? So the Incredible Hulk obviously got pissed and turned into the World Breaker form, and then for some reason the Roach just mystically died. All right guys, last up we're going to test the Hydra. I think we've been a little too harsh on the Roach, so we're going to try something that should be a bit easier for him to take out. And holy cow, were we not kidding. Damn, the roach just completely devoured that guy. So if it wasn't obvious, I think we can all agree that the giant roach is quite formidable, although it definitely struggles with some NPCs. It pretty much lost almost every match it had. However, it was a pretty close match between it and the Pacific Rim NPC. So I gotta give the roach credit where credit is due. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. All the links are down below. As always, you know the drill. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and farewell.